All hail the great Boris! Fun fact with this playthrough is that uh, until last year in the game, 1944, as Bulgaria, I was actually neutral. But I had uh, the access to thank for for taking out of the mess because well, I had been a trench war with the Greeks with uh, well almost a million casual a million dead. On uh, or casualties on both sides. Oh no, co combined. But uh, well, most like 700,000 Greek ca casualties and uh, 300 something Greek. Uh, no, Bulgarian casualties was it? Yeah. They still wouldn't give up. So. Somehow the Greeks managed to surround me in Bulgaria, country Yugoslavia and Romania. This was weird. But then after the Germans, uh, well, really, what, what, what is this? Is this was given to uh, the Russians after the war ended. You were supposed to be neutral, but I don't think anyone is neutral anymore. The highest, the one before that you get. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so so the Swiss join the Allies uh, a bit later. They enter the war, and then they capitulate. What was the point of it really? If you're wondering what the front lines between the Axis and Allies is currently at, it's in the northern India and in Burma, where German, Italian, Japanese, Chinese troops are fighting Canadians. Yeah. Also in Norway. We are going to have rocket driven Bulgarian nukes, count on it. Don't underestimate them. I'm from Sweden. Som bevis för det säger jag den här meningen på svenska. Som du förmodligen inte vet vad det betyder, men skitsamma. Anyway. Don't ask what that meant. If we go to South America, and then we click on uh, the countries, uh, Argentina doesn't count, because they have it. But if we go to Bolivia, look at that guy, you see him, right? Now, let's go to Chile, same guy, Colombia, same guy, Costa Rica, same guy. How did he manage to get to be head of state, or head of government, or whatever, in the, all these South American countries, it must be some kind of conspiracy. Don't you agree? Or just the uh, laziness and bad decisions of the developers in giving lots of countries in South America the same portrait for the leader. Because if you look, the name is different. There's Stenio Vincent. And here's Federico Paez. Different guys, same face. What? There, the, the game is a lot worse because in free you had these black and white photos of the actual persons that were hopefully accurate. 
but here you have just a uh, painted face of the same guy. And so, if you go to Asia, it's the same thing. Go, 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 go! Look, Tibet is, is an exception, but look at that. Is. See, um, they got an emperor, king, or whatever, but just an a Asian guy. Uh, China, oh, there's a different one. Philippines, uh, that's the South American guy again. Another country. How many does he got to rule? Is he, is he never happy? Netherlands. Then you got some guy with a funny mustache. Nepal. That's, that's the Asian guy again. Yunnan. That's he again. Think guy. That's he again. He's the Asian version of the South American guy. That's Japan. Obviously they got one. They got one as well. Well there. It's not as many. But there are a lot of the same guy. This, you, this I would think. He's unique. He must be a historical person. This must be what this Lord Lindlifgau actually looked like. But no. If you go to uh, New Zealand, there is again, he can't be at the same place with two different names at the same time. He's also a generic person. There's a lot of bunch of conspiracy with, with the same guy ruling a bunch of countries in this game. And then you got some generic looking Arab guy for the country as well. You go to Afghanistan, you got this guy. And then you go over to uh, to uh, well, where's the uh, where, where are they really? Take me to Yemen. Huh? That's the Arab guy again. Go to Afghanistan. This here again. Go to Oman. Look who's there. Saudi Arabia. They got some other guy, but uh, in Iraq, there is again. Everywhere. Really. But the one thing they did do was. In the really important empire of Liberia, they managed to... I was about to say a black guy, but uh, no, they got Franco. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Well, there's supposed to be a black guy there at least. No, there's just Franco. But, uh, yeah. He got a unique portrait in the very mighty relevant country of empire of Liberia. Well, cool, but uh, well, a lot of other countries didn't. So, yeah. And it's freezing again because Germany declared war on Panama. The most relevant country of them all, with a strange South American guy ruling it. And a bunch of other South American countries as well. Nobody knows who he really is. Oh. Now we can make nukes, perhaps. Hurry, guy! Yeah. Everyone's afraid of Uruguay. Horrified. Why is there a sim? What? We forgot what this was about. Okay. It's a bit boring, yes, it's boring. I can't, I can't play as Luxembourg and Conquer the World, but I can make a timeout of them doing it. Yeah, this is what this world consists of now. No. Yes, Americans and Mexicans and Germans looking at each other across the jungles in uh, southern Mexico. Yeah. This is basically it right now. I'd just make a fleet and invade the US myself with my great Bulgarian army. I hope this isn't too loud, but feel free to ask me questions if you have any. But don't ask where I'm from. I already got that question twice. I live in the great Soviet Republic of Tanituva. Or maybe not. No. I let's take Koi 4 up and I live. No, I don't live on the Faroe Islands. I live. This is the great part with having a map game. I live. Uh, here. Here I live. 
Never remove kebab. Kebab is great food. Love it. That's a big thumb. Great. Ethiopia can be removed. They of course belong to the great Italian colonial empire. And you over there. Spammer. Get away. Remove hamburger. I am guess you are referring to this thing over. Oh, where are you? There it is. This thing. You're referring to that one, right? I've been there actually. Got a lot of beer and a lot of pubs. Maybe. Perhaps. It's debatable if goulash should be removed or not, but um, yeah, maybe we can have a debate about it, but pros and cons, maybe, maybe not, yeah, let the people decide. Yeah, remove Fiesta. No, Fiesta can stay. Can be good. Good for the people. Yeah. Remove Stalin or remove Hitler. Remove both and replace them with clones of Roosevelt. But then have World War II continue exactly as it went. Just for the sake of it. Just to see what happens. Remove them both and uh, replace them with a giant Swedish Empire which controls all and cut nukes. Welfare for all. Just randomly out of the blue, let's uh, admire Tsar Boris III in all his glory. Yeah. Well, why not just keep him, keep him up there like this? You can, uh, nothing happen happening in Asia, Asia anyway. So we can keep in here, watch, having a watchful eye over the US. A question, why are the almost only Russians, except me, on um, YouTube gaming or streaming Hoi4? It's just Russians. Nothing against Russians, but just Russians. Wait, perhaps I'm a Russian too. Oh. I can just rename this stream to to me observing as Bulgaria and you just asking questions in chat about what I'm going to or want to remove. This, this is basically what, what this is now. I can imagine people going through this recording and just stumble upon what was said earlier and going like what the fuck did he just what how possibly could he he be answering with that what he's saying well I don't know someone in chat asked me remove yogurt you said well it's great out of context 